Hey guys, it's Jess from Madden Crafts. This is a project that I filmed a couple of years ago, but I thought it would be a good idea to release it right now for people that are looking for simple craft projects that use supplies you already have at home. If you have digital photos and a colored printer, some glue and uh, clear sealant, even like clear nail polish, you can turn your digital photos into beads for jewelry or garlands or whatever you'd like to use them for. Start by printing off your pictures using a colored printer. Regular printer paper is fine for this. And then cutting them into long, thin triangles using scissors or a paper cutter. Once you have the triangles cut out, you're going to want to roll them up using something small and thin like a toothpick or a skewer or something along those lines because you want it to have a really small interior circle so that your beads aren't too wobbly. Begin on the widest end of your triangle. Tightly roll up the roll of, or the triangle of paper into a roll. You can see that I added just a little bit of glue from a glue stick. That will help the beads stay together as you're rolling it up and help it adhere it all together before you get the sealant on it. The real trick here is just to make sure that you're rolling that bead as tightly as possible so it becomes like a solid bead and not like a loose coil. Once you have the bead all rolled up, you're going to want to take a clear sealer. You can use Mod Podge, you can use a spray acrylic sealer, or if you have some clear nail polish at home, that works perfectly well. So go ahead and coat the entire bead while it's still on the toothpick or skewer. And then once you have it completely coated with your sealant, you can slide it off of the toothpick and set it aside to dry. Repeat that entire process for all of your paper triangles. Each one of these triangles will make another bead. This is a really fun project to do while you're listening to a podcast or watching a streaming movie or maybe a TV series that you've been meaning to watch. It's a good kind of busy hands activity that doesn't require a lot of brain power. You can make tons of these beads because you can use them for necklaces, earrings, bracelets, or even string them onto a garland to create some cool home decor. The reason why I really like these beads, besides the fact that they're easy and inexpensive to make, is that you've used your own photos that are important to you and sentimental to make something that you can keep around you all the time. So often we take photos with our phones or our digital cameras and they just sit on the phone and we never print them out and we never really look at them. This is a cool way to make use of all of those thousands of photos that you've got stored on your phone. I hope you guys are staying well and healthy. If you have any ideas for any videos or posts you would like me to share in the upcoming weeks, please let me know in the comments below and I'll get to work on those for you. Give this video a like if you learned something new. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I post a new video. Visit me on my blog madandcrafts.com and thanks so much for watching. Bye!